All right, I unlocked that interceptor last night, so let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of people to talk to in the fort now. Looks like this is your lucky day. Why's that? You just bumped into the oldest man in Fort Tarsis. Name's Jarek. Nice to meet you. You too. You know, you don't live as long as I have without seeing some things. Yeah? Like what? I was there when the scars swarmed the fort's terraces. It was a bloodbath. Happened over 50 years ago, and it feels like yesterday. I was also there when the scars came over the walls. What do you think about that? I think you've seen a lot. You bet I have. More than you ever will, that's for sure. I hope you're right. Oh, I am, Freelancer. I've lived a life filled with bloodshed and disaster. I've survived strider ambushes, dominion attacks and outlaws. I've even run from wyverns. I've seen enough death the last 50 lifetimes. And yet, somehow, I'm still kicking. So what's your secret to survival? It ain't no secret. I'm a pragmatist. I always did what I had to in order to survive. Sounds like you made some tough choices. You tell me. I was in a mining crew digging for ore near Heliost when the main shaft collapsed. We were trapped behind a solid wall of rock. We had no idea of how long it would take for the rescue party to dig us out. I was lucky enough to find a bottle of water, but there were six of us. One bottle of water for six miners? How many of you made it out? I was the only survivor. You're tough as nails. That's why it's still alive. I guess so. You guess? How else does one man live while five perish? I just did what I had to do. Yeah, and you were lucky. I'm so not gonna press that you story. Mean at least a little good fortune to become the oldest man in Fort Tarsus. In some ways, I am lucky. You cheered me up, freelancer. Thank you. You're welcome, old timer. Maybe. Next time we meet, I'll tell you how I survived the massacre on the terraces. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Laundry is like life. If you ever get it all sorted out, then let me know. I'm so glad to see you. I've been wanting to warn you about the bar owner. Okay. Her name is Max. All right. Now be careful with her. I'm telling you this as a friend. I wouldn't consider us friends. Well, maybe not yet, but I feel like we're getting to know each other, and that's a start, right? Well... Don't answer. What you need to know is that Max might be connected to regulators. Word in the fort is... If you owe her money and don't pay up, you could end up face down in a scar encampment, torn apart by Wyvern. But if she's got regulator connections, why wouldn't she turn you over to them? Hey, I'm just telling you what I heard, because I don't want you to get hurt. Mm. Thanks for the heads up. You're welcome, my friend. I mean... Why do they want us to hate this guy? Hey. Hey, where's my drink? I think you've had enough for one day. I'll tell you when I've had enough.
did it. Sorry. What? Hi again. Freelancer. Uh, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Were you trying to make a joke, Bryn? I'm attempting something new. I don't think I enjoyed it. I should tell you, I'm impressed with how you've handled yourself on missions. Freelancers. We get the job done. Sometimes, from what I've heard. And you believe everything you hear? You do seem shockingly reliable. Shockingly? Oh, uh, pleasantly. Uh, in, surprisingly? Has anyone ever told you that you're not great with people, Bryn? Oh, constantly. How do you even have an opinion of freelancers if I'm the first one you've worked with? Hmm. From radio shows and other Sentinels. Have you ever considered Sentinel life? A long time ago, before joining the freelancers. And? I was figuring things out. I also thought about breeding Gravits for a while. I've always known what I wanted to do. Oh, rules and regs keep the world in order. A place for everything. Sounds like you used that line before. My mother's favorite. She was a sentinel, too. And she also loved rules. Isn't working with freelancers without permission breaking those rules? If the sentinels don't adapt, the fort won't be around much longer to protect. And isn't that adapting, just breaking the rules with purpose? <laughs> now you're just talking nonsense. I'll see you around. Potentially. Hi again, Bren. Freelancer. What? Hello again. Hi. While I have you, Wh what? We need more information about this odd scar activity. If you have time to lend the Sentinels a hand. On it. Just pass on the details when you have them. Yes. Will do. That's weird. Look at the board, talk to the... Wow, okay. You're a merchant? What are you selling? You're a freelancer, right? What gave me away? The freelancer logo. Yeah, I was... Oh, never mind. Do you need something? What does it cost to... to contract you? It changes, depending on the ask. My grain supplier put his business on hold until he can resolve some sort of family argument. That's a little out of the freelancer purview, I'm afraid. Oh, no. What's going on exactly? It's... It's my business. My parents are gone, and it's just me now. I'm Mora, by the way. I sell fruits, uh, vegetables, but most of my sales were in grains. 
Bakeries. But now your suppliers stopped shipping grain because of his family argument. Right. But I have a solution. At least, I, I think I have a solution. What's that? A farm. An inside farm. Self-sustainable, indoor farming. You never have to go outside the walls. I figured out a way. I did. I built a prototype. Just one seed. But it's sprouting. Sounds like it would solve your problem. You should make one. I would, but I don't have the resources. I need support, financial support. You might still find the opportunity. Maybe fruit sales will pick up. Maybe, still. Thank you for listening. You were very kind to a stranger. Well, that's the freelancer way, mostly. It was good to meet you. And if you ever do need fruit. I know where to find you. <laughs>